Hello everybody. So today we're doing in today this video, this art video I'm gonna be trying to do fan art of Peacemaker from the DC Comics. Yeah, it's been a while since I drawn somebody from DC actually, and of course continuing my trend of Rick and Morty style characters. Yes, so he's peace. This guy, Peacemaker, he's from uh, Suicide Squad, and uh, what was I saying? Suicide Squad. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, so he he's gonna be in the Suicide Squad movie, and apparently he's getting his own TV show. That's cool. So yeah, James Gunn, he's going to be a big part of D the DC Cinematic Universe now. I guess that's that's uh, Disney's loss. Yes. I mean, you should know by now what happened with James Gunn and his controversy. And that that lost, that caused, caused him his... Uh, position, coveted position in Marvel, in the MCU, but I guess Warner Brothers decided that wasn't really, uh, I don't know, decided that's Marvel's loss, Disney's loss, and they're gonna pick him up, and now he's, he's, he's doing Suicide Squad 2, and a Peacemaker TV show, yes. Yeah. All right, so yes, I decided, you know what? I can't just be drawing one man all the time, even though it does get me more views, but I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what characters people are interested in, and I don't know, for some re for whatever reason, people really liking, uh, people are really liking She-Hulk, She-Venom, she Carnage, because I tried drawing Spider Woman. I mean, and not too many people are interested in that. So I, I don't know if it's just female characters are more interesting or specific types. Like the She Hulks and the She Venoms and She Carnages I drew like are a bit more on the muscular side. Is is that is that the common denominator? Do I need to draw more muscular characters? More muscular women? Or is it just because, you know, whatever is trending from, you know, from the social media and stuff? Because I know there's been a lot of news about She-Hulk. I'm not sure if there's any news about She-Venom and She-Carnage. I mean, there's probably more about uh, Carnage. And Venom, and uh, I'm noticing a, an issue here. Uh, this guy is really big and thick. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to uh, probably not draw the gun because I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> yes, I don't know how how these things work. If it depends on your small YouTuber or big YouTuber, because I've been watching a lot of MXR videos lately, and Jeebus, his thumbnails, very adult and graphic, and like in in the video, they'll be all censored, but then in the thumbnail, you can see almost everything, and it's like it makes no sense. Why why is his videos like not demonetized? I don't know, but I guess that's above my pay grade considering I barely get any views in the first place, I don't want to cause any issues in terms of what's, what kind of content I have. Yes. Okay, so let's see if we can try to make him a little bit more thinner, maybe. Or maybe it's fine. Okay, 
How would it make it easier to just erase and start anew? Oh, oof, that's a complicated symbol on him. Uh, let's see if we have it's. I guess it's like a bird. I don't. I didn't really leave much room in here for it, but yes. Okay, that that's basically it. And then. Uh, Okay, there's his chest. Can't really see his other arm because it's hidden behind the chest because of the positioning. And let's see. There's his gloves. And his here's his thumb. So you could just imagine he's doing a fist positioning. What? Why am I saying positioning? But yes. Uh, I think it's actually closer to like this, more spread out. Let me just erase all that. So I don't really know, I lost track of what I was saying. But yes, James Gunn, is he going to be, you know, DC savior? Maybe, because people are very, seem quite excited about it. Okay. Uh, I mean, he's probably too big, but that's fine. I think it's fine. It doesn't have to be that big because Rick and Morty characters are quite small. Okay, you can just pretend he's giving you a bro fist <laughs> or something. You know, he's like fist. You know, he wants to. He's fisting. I mean, okay, that's not. That's he's giving the bro fist. What is that called? I mean, when obviously normal people do it, not just PewDiePie. I'm not saying that PewDiePie is not normal, but his is the, his trademark is the bro fist. But what is what is it called? Fist bump? Yeah, yeah, it's fist bump. Yeah. I don't know why it took me so long to remember. And he's going to be all happy. Yo, fist bump. So he's modeled off of Jerry, obviously. Well, not obviously. But yeah, definitely modeled off of Jerry. Now he, he has that look like Jerry. Okay, I think he's big enough. Okay. So this was a rather very simple design. Okay. The eyes might be too small, but that's okay. As long as just it's just rough roughly the the design shape of Rick and Morty, you know? Those asterisk eyes. Round circle eyes. Uh, long oval face. Triangular nose. Oh, actually, it, the, some characters, they have the triangle nose. What's happening? It's not lining up. And some characters have, you know, the circular nose. Not circle, oval nose. Actually, I think most of them have triangle. It's mostly Rick that has the, the oval nose. Well, maybe not an oval, but it's like really, it's like it just goes straight down. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so now that I actually drawn a, quite a few, oh, that did not line up. Okay, I've drawn quite a few these Rick and Morty style characters. I would like to think I'm better at drawing now. I mean now I remember oh no the nose is they, it, the, the ear should be below the nose. So the nose is not high enough. 
so I guess so the nose should be like that. How about like that? Okay. So the nose might not be big enough, or but that's fine. As long as like the overall positioning is forehead, huge forehead, eyes, nose, and then the ear and the mouth. An overall oval shape for most of the characters. Uh, thinner neck compared to you know real life. Okay, <laughs> that kind of looks off, but that's okay. I don't know why I keep on saying that. That's like my signature phrasing. It's like, this looks nothing like the original, but that's okay. Because I'm not trying to make it look good. <laughs> Which is, my, I don't know, is that a good or bad attitude to have when it comes to art? Obviously, you want your art to look good, but the desire for perfectionism is also not necessarily a good attitude because if you keep on saying, oh my goodness, my art is horrible, it looks horrible. It's like, I've drawn a million times and it still looks worse than ever. That's not a good attitude either. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to simplify the details, as I said earlier. Because that's how it is in the cartoons, anyway. Yeah, that looks bad. <laughs> Alright. Fist pump. Wow, why the the fingers so inconsistent? Oh my lord. Why did it get so huge and fat? Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like cut that in half. Yes, that'll do. A very poorly implemented solution, but yes. Is that, you know what? Let's not put too much thought into this. <laughs> yes, okay. Probably should have gave him more muscles, actually. But, oh, and here's another slight detail. Okay, let's start off with the blue. Oh, he has a t-shirt on. Okay, we're almost done with the details. So let's start off with the blue areas. Uh, whoops. And here's a fleshy tone. No, that's gloves. Okay. And then there's the red. And his helmet is uh, like a silvery. Mm. And his shirt, the, I mean the logo, 
that's yellow and then the bird is almost yellow but more like a beigey text uh, color, uh, sand color kind of thing okay nice and simple I like drawing these more simple parts yes all right so post comments suggestions down below I'll try to be more balanced and not only draw Marvel but draw other franchises as well so until next time thank you for watching bye bye